smoky situation. This was the scene Sunday in Elwood City. 17 fire departments fighting a huge factory fire. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Erica Thomas. 27 First News reporter Matt Horn headed back to the scene of that chemical fire today, and he learned why first responders were ready for anything. He has our top story. Smoke filled the sky over Elwood City Sunday morning as the toxic chemical lithium burned inside of Inmetco, a factory that recycles batteries and other metal bearing waste. We had 17 fire departments there. Elwood City Fire Department's Chief Rick Meyer says they were prepared for something like this to happen at the facility. Actually, we were there probably three weeks ago and had a training with their facility. The call for the fire came in just before 9 in the morning. Crews left around 6.30 last night. When the smoke was at its heaviest, the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh could see it on radar. The smoke so thick at times people were asking on social media why they were not evacuated. Meyer says tests showed the chemical wasn't a threat to people nearby, but he did say the smell was concerning. That there was a pretty acidic smell along with the smoke. But we were assured that even the firefighters on scene and all the fire personnel that were there, nobody was in any danger and there was no need for evacuations. Elwood City Area School District Superintendent Joe Mancini was also keeping a close eye on any potential evacuations. Since none were given, students were in school today. We just uh, kept going with school today. We figured get the kids in, safe place here in school, they're inside. The CDC's website says that lithium is toxic. However, it's not the most hazardous chemical. It says if anyone inhaled the chemical to get fresh air and to rest. The website also suggests getting medical attention if you're concerned. In Elwood City, Matt Horn, WKBN 27 First News.